Last week Nintendo surprised all Xenoblade fans with the announcement of Xenoblade 3, and even more, when they confirmed that it will be released in September of this year, as expected all fans have ended up happy. But, as I watched more, and more reactions to the game, I realized something, and that is that as strange as it sounds, Pokemon Legends Arceus has helped the announcement has more weight than we think. Before continuing, I just want to clarify that this video is not made with the purpose of throwing hate to Pokemon Legends Arceus, it is simply to comment on the subject of the video. In case you didn't know, Pokemon Legends Arceus is a game that has been very well reviewed by both the press and the players, however, most agree that its weakest point is the graphics, and it is precisely because of this that the announcement of Xenoblade 3 has had, at least in my opinion, an even greater impact than we imagined. This is because I have found a huge amount of comments and videos, forums, etc saying things like Gamma Freak you have no excuses or oh my god, how beautiful this game looks, and in my opinion I think this is something that can benefit us all equally. On the one hand, this may cause more pressure on Gamma Freak about how good their next game has to look, and on the other hand, this may attract even more people to play Xenoblade, which would translate into more sales for the franchise, although it seems that this effect is already happening, since the release of Pyro and Mithra in Smash, the sales of the games have had a considerable increase, and after the announcement of the third part, I could notice the same effect, not only that, we can also see comparisons like this one. At the moment it seems that Xenoblade 3 will enjoy good sales at launch, and the release of Pokemon Legends Arceus somehow seems to have influenced this as well. Although personally, I hope that this effect also impacts other games such as Dragon Quest XI or Shin Megami Tensei 5, among many others. If you have never played a Xenoblade and you like RPGs, I recommend it without hesitation, just that you may find it a little difficult to understand 100% the combat system, especially in Xenoblade 2. Not for nothing there are several videos on you out of explaining the combat system, but don't worry, as soon as you understand it, you will see that it is simpler than it seems, and it is also super satisfying when you perform combos. If you are new to my channel, my main content is a game called Dark Knights, but I'm also starting to talk about video games on you that interest me, like Metroid Dread which I plan to give my final opinion in the future. Thank you very much for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, take care and see you next time.